nine years ago, this was me. I was 17 years old and I was protesting Donald Trump at a rally. I'm making this video so hopefully you can realize that it's okay to admit that you were wrong. A lot of us fell victim to the media's lies and a lot of us hated Donald Trump. You could see that I had a very articulate message and logic and reasoning behind my hatred for the man. No, Trump. Trump, bad. I was hoodwinked, tricked, lied to, and deceived by the media. Don't be afraid to let go of your ego and admit that you were wrong. Our country depends on it. Last night, we all saw a strong man stand up after being pew-pewed in the face. Don't be a coward. We cannot grow as a country if everyone is scared to say what they're thinking. And make sure you're actually thinking. Here, I was not thinking, I was believing. You cannot think and believe at the same time. And listen, I'll say it one more time. I'll be bipartisan. President Obama, President Clinton, President George W. Bush, President Biden last night said they did it. They said the people, the hate in the process did it. Every single one of them said that. So, you don't have to listen to us, but we're not going to stand here and told that we're not seeing what we're seeing, which is what we've been told by the left for years now. The left suggested January 6th was something it wasn't and was a result of people spewing hate. That's what you all said and continue to say. And when we say, when a deranged, demonic shooter decides to take out the person who you say is going to destroy America, we can't say that maybe you saying that he's going to destroy America has something to do with it. It's common sense. We're going to continue to fight for what's right. We're going to continue to take down this curtain of lies and let the people know that it does matter. <laughs> July 13th, 2024 will go down in history as a time when someone tried to shoot and assassinate the former president of the United States of America, President Donald J. Trump. Someone tried to assassinate President Donald J. Trump at his rally. And you have evil people in this country. You have evil people in America that saying they wish this man would have succeeded. And let me tell y'all something. This comes from people like Harris Simpson here on TikTok. AOC, Jari, Maxine Water, the wicked, ugly, evil women of the view. People out here, the media, out here spreading these lies and all this evil against Donald J. Trump because they don't like him. Because they want to keep him out of office. They're spreading these lies, talking about he's a racist, he's evil, he's this, he's that. And you have people have gotten in their head that it's best for this man to not be on earth. So someone tried to assassinate him. And then you have the president of the United States of America, Joe Biden, get up there and do a two-minute speech. A sorry, disgusting two-minute speech that was not heartfelt at all. And then he walks off the stage. Let me tell y'all something. I don't like anything about Joe Biden. I think Joe Biden is the worst president this country has ever had besides Jim, Jimmy Carter. Even with that being said, even with all the things he has done to the black community, and I'm so tired of people acting like he's this great man. All the stuff that he has done to the black community, all the things that he has said about the gay community, and yes, he said a lot of things about the gay community, all the things he said about the Indian community, all the evil things he has said, the racist stuff this man has said, I still would not wish death upon this man. I don't want to see death upon this man. I actually have empathy for this man for the way he's been treated. Let me tell y'all something, y'all. This is why we got to make sure that we get Trump in office even harder. We got to make sure we get out there and make Trump the president of the United States of America. This is disgusting. And I keep telling people that if they can do this stuff to a former president of the United States of America, they don't care about the rest of us. We have been divided and destroyed by the media and lies. Y'all, together we have to stand strong to get this constitutional republic back. Bump this democracy crap they keep talking. We have to save this republic. We have to save this republic from evil people like the people that try to assassinate the president of the United States of America. My heart is so heavy right now for the way this country has been destroyed, the way this country has been divided. United we stand, divided we fall. What did you say, amen? Amen. Amen again. They want to take away my freedom because I will never let them take away your freedom. It's very simple. I'm not going to let it happen. They want to silence me because I will never let them silence you. 
And in the end, they're not after me. They're after you. And I just happen to be standing in their way. It's my honor to do so. Trump just won the motherfucking election.